Eight-year-old Rain de Sick almost flew out of the raft on a lightning-fast boat ride while on vacation on the lake with his dad Scott and sister Penelope. Hey guys, it's Celeb Gossip here again today to bring you the latest updates on your favorite celebs. Please, make sure to click the subscribe box below to be notified of any new information. Thanks. Rain de Sick has risked a flight through the air after going on a wild ride with his family. Scott de Sick, 40, posted to his Instagram stories yesterday a photo of his youngest child on an inflatable speedboat. In the photo, Hulu star Scott snapped a photo of Rain, 8, sitting next to his big sister Penelope, 11. The siblings also have an older brother, Mason, 13, who prefers to stay out of the spotlight. The photo showed Scott picking up his young children, who were sitting on an inflatable boat connected to his boat with a rope. Rain and Penelope were wearing swimsuits as well as life jackets. Penelope smiled happily from the blowing, looking relaxed as her hair blew in the wind. However, Rain seems to have had a less easy journey. The little boy gripped the handles at his sides tightly, but seemed to lose his seat. Kourtney Kardashian's son's legs flew into the air, and photos of his shocked face were captured as his body was thrown backwards. Scott did not comment on the funny shot, noting that Rain's bumpy ride was fine. The Rebellious Child This isn't the first time Scott and Courtney's parenting of Rain has veered toward the wild side. Earlier this year, Rain happily showed off his bleached blonde hair alongside designer clothes. However, Courtney, 44, and Scott came under fire after allowing their son to undergo the bold makeover. In the first photos of his new look, Rain had white blonde hair, identical to Courtney's, as opposed to his natural dark brown color. However, critics wrote that they felt he was too young to dye his hair. To do this to a child is deplorable. I think she lost herself in this marriage to that creature. Shame on her. It's ridiculous, one commenter wrote. Another exclaimed, dyeing a young child's hair is crazy. What's wrong with these people? A third person wrote, He's so young. Meanwhile, in 2022, she was slammed for putting her kids in an unsafe situation during a car ride. Courtney filmed herself sitting in the passenger seat before panning the camera to Penelope and Rain, who were in the back. They struggled to stare ahead as the wind whipped their faces as well as were strapped into horizontal seat belts that didn't have a cross strap. Critics claimed the kids' seatbelts were dangerous and slammed Courtney for letting them ride in the unsafe car. One wrote on Instagram, those seatbelts were scientifically proven to be unsafe, but okay. I guess the vibes matter more than anything. Another added in a Reddit thread, poor kids. Not safe at all, I wouldn't let my kids in those seatbelts in an old convertible like that. A third commented, rain is seven he should still be in a booster seat. Yet another pointed out, the kids look miserable haha. -ha. This isn't the first time Courtney has been called out for her parenting skills. Happy family? Scott and Courtney co-parent their three children, and Courtney married Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker, 47, in 2022. Travis shares two children with his ex-wife Shauna Mokler, Alabama, born in 2005, and Landon, born in 2003. He is also a personality the father of his ex-stepdaughter, Adiana de la Hoya, on Reddit. One person shared comments on Instagram from fans wondering how Scott was handling the news. The snapshot showed a slew of posts speculating on Scott's reaction after one wrote, Someone is checking up on Scott. Another person replied, Don't worry, the entire Kardashian-Jenner family is probably already at his house to calm him down. But others thought Scott was okay with his ex's big news, with one writing, I don't think he cares. Another added, let's be honest here, he actually had many chances. She has every right to be happy in the end. 